Hello my lovies. I was actually getting ready to head out for the day and I decided to film this simple glam look for you guys. I love filming my full on glam videos but sometimes it's nice to you know just switch it up and show you the makeup I usually wear out in real life. <laughs> so you guys already know the first step is primer. I'm using the Kat Von D's High Voltage Eye Primer. I've actually had this thing for a while and I recently rediscovered it in my collection and I fell back in love. Love the staying power love that it neutralizes the lid and then for the eyes today I'm using the Nubian palette by Juvia's Place this palette is crazy affordable I think I only paid like $25 shipping included after shipping it was like 25 bucks and it's been all the rage on Instagram as you all may already know and it definitely has been one of my go-to's lately so you'll be seeing this bad boy a lot more and I'm starting out with that soft warm brown in the top row as my transition shade Next I'm taking it to the bottom row and slightly defining the crease with that rusty kind of reddish brown shade. I'm going to hit up the middle row and pop that beautiful golden pink onto the mobile lid. This is actually a great if not better dupe for MAC's expensive pink eyeshadow. In fact, almost all of the shades in this palette are dupable for MAC shades, which is kind of crazy. Going back to the top row, I'm going to take my favorite shade out of the palette, which is this creamy champagne beige, and I'm just going to dab that into the inner corner for some added brightness. I applied eyeliner and lashes off camera. The lashes I used were really, really natural. So next I'm going to do skin and I'm testing out the new Milani Conceal and Perfect Foundation. I used this on a photo shoot not too long ago and I was blown away at the staying power and the coverage, but this is my first time using it on myself. And let me know if you guys would want to hear a review or see a review actually on this foundation. Just leave a comment down below. To apply this foundation, I'm actually going to be using my favorite Kabuki brush that I've been using for everything ever since I got it. And this is from House of Beauty, their Goldilocks brush set. This thing blends foundation, BB cream, wh whatever you use on your skin, it's just going to blend it out so flawlessly. I cannot get over how soft and luxurious this brush feels, like no lie. So the Milani foundation actually started to set and was looking a little too neutral, a little too pink girl. So I went back in with my MAC Conceal and Correct palette in medium dark, I believe it is. And I grabbed the yellow that's at the bottom to give it a more golden look along the jawline. My concealer and everything will help me with the rest of my face, but along that jawline area where you like see my neck and face meet, I wanted everything to look like the same color for concealer i'm using the black up concealer pen i forget the shade but it'll definitely be listed below as always using another house of beauty goldilocks brush for this to apply that concealer and i love the coverage of the black up concealer but in hindsight i feel like it was a bit too yellow but i'm gonna make it work for this look but shout out shout out to black up for making it into sephora
Once I have that blended out, I'm just gonna set everything with a little powder, then move on to my contour. I'm using this contour kit type situation by MAC and this is the All the Right Angles Contour Kit in medium dark. This actually just came out I believe like a week or two ago and taking the sculpting powder that's in this palette in the shade Shadester that was about to be all types of messed up <laughs> and I'm going to contour and bronze the skin with this. And again, I'm using another House of Beauty Goldie Luxe Set Brush. This is the blush and powder brush from that same set. I'll go ahead and leave a link below to where you can purchase this set because I'm obsessed. And by the way, this kit is limited edition, but all the shades can be purchased individually except for the cream highlight, which you'll see me use a little later. Going for that golden creamy beige highlighter that's in the kit. This is in the shade uh, Naked Universe, I think it is. And I'm running this right at the bridge of my nose, skipping the middle, and then adding a little bit to the tip for a more slender looking nose. After using the Anastasia Beverly Hills Glow Kit in that glow non-stop for about a month, I went back and got the other kit in Gleam and I'm taking the shade Mimosa which is life, you hear me? Life. And I'm applying this with a MAC fan brush. I did not think that I was going to like this particular uh, set of colors because it's supposed to be like a cooler tone but I actually really like all of the colors except for hard candy went back to the Nubian palette and grabbed the dark brown from the bottom row and that super gorgeous copper color in the row above to smoke out my lower lash line but of course my blind self was out of focus because I had the mirror so close to my eyes to see what I was doing so what we're gonna do is just move on to the little lippy lips I'm slightly out of focus for the lips too shaking my head but I'm going to go ahead and line and slightly overdraw my lips with max cork lip pencil any warm brown you have will will really do then my favorite part liquid lipstick I'm applying the BH cosmetics liquid lip in the shade muse which is a nudie kind of mauve toned gray and these are actually amazing for the price I picked this up for eight dollars I think it was almost a month ago and I'm very impressed with the quality the staying power how comfortable it is I really really love these I only got two colors but I'm thinking I'm gonna go back and get more So here is the final look guys. This was a very simple, quick little glam look that I threw on before I was going out of the door. If you guys like this style of get ready with me videos, then let me know by clicking the thumbs up button. And if you guys want to see more pictures, then go to my blog, of course. And as usual, I will list everything that I use down below. And until my next video, I will talk to you guys later. Bye.